Hey everyone, Nick from Master CCG here, and welcome back to another video. Where today we're going to be looking at uh, we haven't we have another deck profile video for you guys, and today we're going to be looking at Lost Zone Box. Uh, currently, statistically, the best deck in format at the moment, which is surprisingly overtaking Lugia. Um, and yeah, we're going to be looking at the Lost Box with Sky Seal Stone. This is the best variant of Lost Zone Box. And yeah, so before I really get into deck, let me just tell you my story of um, this sort of deck. So this last Thursday at um, TCG Collector, I decided to play this deck for the very first time. I had all the stuff for Lost Zone Box, um, like, way before, since Lost Origin came out September last year, and I've been kind of, like, been on and off deciding whether or not I am going to play it, because this deck, whenever it bricks, I've versed, like, people against it many times, because it's a very popular, it's a very popular deck in my locals, I will say. Quite a few people play it, including me, and... Yeah, basically, I took it to TCG Collector Locals and did alright. It was best of one format. I mean, the whole round was only best of one. And I went to three wins, one losses. One losses. Three wins, one loss, which is pretty good. Didn't top, but I mean, I had fun playing it. I really underestimated Lost Zone Box, thinking it was not that good in the beginning until I had this all built up. So now we're going to look at the deck. We have the main Lost Zone engine, Comfy, with its flash selecting ability. Basically, look at top two cards, put one into hand and the other into Lost Zone. Then we have Cramorant, basically, just to deal with one prizes, like other Comfy or Mana Fee or stuff like that. And we've got uh, four or more cards in Lost Zone. Uh, it's attacks for free, spit instantly, 110 damage. Then we got Mana Fee to, like, block uh, stuff like Urshifu, or stuff like, uh, what else has been, uh, I guess Magnazone Vista, which I'm thinking, I'm thinking about making an updated version of, um, Rhydon EX, putting Magnazone Vista on there to deal with Lost Box. We have Greninja for energy and, like, Discarn energy. During two, sorry, I'm mentioning back and forth, it's just kind of itchy. But we're okay. And yeah, Sableye, with the Lost Mine ability, 10 or more cards in Lost Zone, put 12 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like, which is really good for late game. So our four main attackers with, uh, to use Sky Seal Stone with, is Raikou with Lightning Rondos. You'll see this played in a... You'll see this played, was it Maridon? Yeah, you see this played. I used to play this in Lugia pre rotation as well. Raikou V. Then uh, this is the deal with Lugia and Palkia. It, both, it hits both of them for weakness. And then we have Glary Zapdos V to hit stuff like, um, especially like Drapion. Speaking of Drapion, we'll go to Drapion next. But yeah, you know what Drapion does just to deal with Mew. And, uh, Galarian Zapdos is, has the attack Thunderous Kick and has the ability, uh, cost one color assist for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play, which is really good against, um, Rhydon and Regilecki, as well as Arceus V-Star and Hisuian Zorak V-Star. Um, in one of my rounds, I was able to Oko, um, a Zorak V-Star with, uh, this guy with an energy or a one two energy and a sky seal stone taking three prizes. And last of all, we have you guys know what Dragon does. Dragonite uh, doesn't really counter anything since nothing is weak to dragon, but I mean, it just counters anything else, like I guess um, Giratina V Star or just anything else, to be honest, because uh, its Dragon Gal attack is pretty good 250 damage. Now, I don't think I've... I haven't explained what Sky Seal Stone does. It's got... It's a V-Star power, Star Order. And since it's a tool, it doesn't get blocked by Path. 
Um, but Path does hurt this deck, especially with Raikou and get, you get to draw a card. Drapion can't attack for free against Mew, and Zapdos can't attack for, like, only one or two energy, depending on if they have much uh, Vs in play. But yeah, start order, basically, during the turn you use this ability. If your opponent's active Pokemon, V-Star or V-Max, uh, opponent, if your opponent's V-Star or V-Max get knocked out by one of your V, um, take an extra prize card. So if you, like, Drapion, knock out a Mew V-Max, you take four prizes. Zapdos, knock out a Regaliki V-Max, take four prizes. Or, like, an Arceus V-Star, take three prizes. Raikou, knock in a Lugia Pal or Palkia, um, you take three prizes again. And some of these variants do play the Zamazenta, but it doesn't work with Sky Seal Stone. And uh, this deck's been doing okay so far, of only the one time I've played it. And we also have stuff like VIP Pass, um, Beach Court for Free Retreat, you've seen this card in Maridon, and Chorus's Experiment, look, top five cards, put three of them to hand, others into Lost Zone. And we've got Escape Rope to, um, you know, switch out like Cliff Keys and all that stuff. But yeah, enough explaining, more doing. We're gonna go into... I'm gonna do a few games and we're gonna see how it goes. <sighs> mm. I've seen some Lost Zone boxes, Lost Zone, uh, Lost Box, I'm just call it Lost Box. I've seen some Lost Box variants play, like, a copy of Sky Seal Stone and a copy of Forest Seal Stone, I'll choose his. And I've seen some, uh, Lost Box variants like that solely run Forest Seal Stone. Which I think Sky Seal Stone is quite good. I mean, Forest Seal Stone is obviously good against matchups where you don't play against a um, V-Star or VMAX, so not against the Mews or the Lugias or the Maridons with Regilecki, because the some Maridon variants, there's only two Maridon variants, one with Regilecki and one with um, Flaffy. The Flaffy one doesn't play Regilicky, so it's good against that, I guess. And we're playing against Sorok Lunatone. Okay, this is a deck that a lot of my people at Locals have been wanting to build. They've been looking for cards of these. I'm looking for cards of these, but I've got all my Solrocks, so I'm just looking for one more Lunatone, and I've got the whole deck sorted. I love Pitch of Puke and Okay, going pretty fast with this. If they're playing it with Mewtwo V-Star, then that's good. I mean, nothing in our deck hits Mewtwo for weak. Uh, Drapion does, but Drapion's only really good against Mew. And I guess Scardivore, if you can get it set up. And I guess against Mewtwo V-Star again, if you can get it set up. But one price decks, mm, not the best against it. We're going second, so that means we can fly Soaking and Chorus and do all of the above in there. So, let's go. We're top decking Energy Recycler. I'm going to put that on Beach Court straight away. We're going to fly Selecting. We don't need Zapdos. No, nah, we won't need Zapdos because Loon Time will hit up for weakness. So, getting rid of Zapdos was good. Let me see all my prizes. Okay, reprise two Mirage Gates. I don't like that right off the bat. But I mean, what can you do? Going into there, gonna flash selecting again. Gonna get a water energy. Going for a chorus. Please get like a VIP pass or something off this. Got cram. You're gonna switch and we get a Mirage Gate. Because we need Mirage Gates for late games. This is prized two. But that's okay, because we've got four in Lost Zone already. And yeah, we're going to switch into this cram. And we're going to spit innocently for knock. 
<clears throat> That's why Cram so good against one price decks. I only play two of them. But, um, it's going to be an updated deck list on this with like Super Rod and, uh, what was it, Jet Energy? Which I'm pretty sure if like, if there's a Comfy in the active and I attach this Jet Energy to a bench Comfy, I swap it into the Comfy with the Jet Energy on it. I can only cycle draw. Okay, I gotta just keep knocking this crowns over. And these are not crowns. <laughs> knocking these lunatones over and over again. Alright, so we're gonna. We're gonna the mini on. I think you know what we're gonna get. We're gonna get chorus. Because there's not much of a reason to get anything else. Right now, anyways. Don't go. Don't be in March. Okay, we're gonna get. Uh, Ninja. Energy and energy. We won't need the fighting since we got rid of our Zapdos. Gonna bench Greninja. Gonna concealed cards. Get rid of that energy. And we got our Raikou, which is good. We haven't retreated, so we might as well. Yeah, we're gonna retreat. Yeah, another thing famous or infamous with Lost, Lost Box is having gigantic hands, like humongous hands. Escape rope. And we're going to switch back into that cram and we're going to knock the Lunatone. I'm pretty sure they played, um, I'm pretty sure they do play Rescue Carrier and if they don't, then that's kind of silly of them. We guys going ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven card hands. So if they like play stuff like Judge, then that's it's not too good. Learn module. Each player has to get the oh. cards. Okay, well I've got it. Well, thanks for the cram. What's egg incubator do? Swap the heads. What? It, what? If heads search for a basic Pokemon, if tails, put it on the bottom of your deck. Okay. Is it? That's 30 plus, not 30, oh, it's 30 plus. So it's 30 plus, so they're able to knock my cram. But that's okay, because we've got another cram in hand. Well, it's even better, because we can just... We're going to concealed cards, the fighting energy. How many cards we got on this one? Seven. Okay, we're going to chorus. That, that, that. Actually, we're not going to get this. We're going to get another chorus. Jesus Christ, that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, we're going to knock this Soul Rock. Just taking up one prize at a time. One prize at a time. So this is like the typical like average board for Lost Box. You get a Cram, two Comfies, Greninja, Manaphy, and a Luminion. I was originally not playing Luminion in here, but it didn't really help me too much. Oh, they got River Psychic Energy. That actually helps them a lot. But it doesn't matter because we're going to... How many Lunatones have we knocked? Two. Okay. Are they going to get another... Okay, they're getting another Lunatone. So they know that I have another Cram in hand or something. Don't have Judge. This hand is... Well, actually, yeah, don't have Judge. This hand is massive and I love this hand. So we can just do anything we want. Okay, you got rid of my Cram. Yeah, but... Let me bring up Comfy. Then we're going to... We're gonna bench Raikou actually. We're not gonna we're not gonna have any more cram business. And then we're gonna Energy. I don't even need Beach Call, we're just gonna switch. How many energy have I just got? Two. Okay, we're gonna add a third one because I wanna energy recycler let go. Perfect. Then we're gonna fleet foot. 
yeah, see, Lost Box really decks out, but it's okay, because we're getting rid of this Lunatone. And that's my priority, to be honest. Mm. Oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 cards in hand. I literally have more cards in my hand than I do in my dick. What the frick, what the frick, dude? We have no swear on this channel, family friendly. Not nah, seriously though, oh my god. Okay, so they've used up both their sun and the, both their soul rock abilities. I'm gonna poke a stop. Oh, they got nothing of the poke stop, rip. So they're only hitting for 130. Yeah, only 130. Oh well. Oof. Gonna get rid of the water energy. Just gonna get rid of their Lunatone. Why do they have Gengar? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this prize. Damn, awesome question. Why do they have Gengar? What is Gengar in there for? <laughs> I don't know what this deck's about. There's Rescue Carrier. I was like, when are they gonna play that? They probably know they've lost next turn anyway. Because they know I have a cram in hand. How many cards do I have in hand? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I have 8 cards in deck. Bruh, what? Okay, yeah. You can knock my rocker. That's okay. Actually, instead of, um, I'm going to consider, I don't want to do the cram knock. I want to do the Greninja knock, because usually you don't knock with Greninja. They don't have mana feed down. Yeah, I don't have enough cards to do the. What? Oh, I was meant to, oh, poopy. I meant to do that first. Oops. Gonna get those in deck. Then I'm a Raj Gate. Thank God I realized that. Oh, fuck. Flip. Misplay alert. Misplay alert. Uh oh. Oh no, it's okay. We got chorus. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get rid of that, that, and that. We've got one card left in deck, but it's okay. Instead of Greninja win, because we horribly misplayed with that, we're going to Sableye win instead. You know, the Lost Mine. Yeah, there's 11 cards in Lost Zone. Whew. Thank God for that. All right, we're going to Lost Mine. We're going to put 20, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Bam. And that's it. The game took really long, to be honest. I didn't want it to take that long. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. That was a pretty easy game. Also, another reason why this deck is BDIF is because it's mainly of one prizes and other like top decks such as um, like Lugia, Mu V Max, uh I 
guess stuff like Palkia. I don't know. Uh, Maridon. Maridon's a really big case. This is the only one prizes I have in my Maridon deck is like Reninja and Cliff Key. And I think that's it. Do I want to go first? Yeah, we're going to go first. Yeah, Lost Box, Prioritize, going first. Depending on what we're playing against. Okay, um, that's not a good start. Yeah, this is what I mean when Lost Box bricking. This is, that's not the best start. I mean, we've got Chorus in hand, but we're going, we're going first. We're going first. Oh, we're playing into, we're playing into Darkrai. I think so. I think we're playing into Darkrai. We've got Moltres. So I was like, what other deck plays? Moltres, that isn't Darkrai. Yeah, stuff like Darkrai um, can be good to sweep as well. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely playing against Darkrai. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Got Die Flame Wings. Oh yeah, because Pokestop doesn't get um choice belts anymore. Rip. Do they not have anything else? Do they not have Nest Ball? Okay, I've got energy. Okay. Ah. We've got Cram, but that doesn't really help us. We're gonna chorus. Get an Ultra Ball. Hello. Get an Ultra Ball. Why is it not allowing me to get this Ultra Ball? Why is it not allowing me to get this card I want? It's allowing me to get everything else. It's not allowing me to get this. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? TCG Live actually bogan. Oh my. Fine. Bloody hell. Wanted an Ultra Ball, man. No, we're gonna poke a stop. Oh, we got a Nest Ball. Let me get rid of our other cram and something else. Thank God for that Nest Ball, man. All right, we're gonna Comfy, full out selecting. What's my hand? I already got a Coruscant in hand, so we're gonna get that energy. Only three cards in Lost Zone as well, so it's like. I'm gonna go into Cram and we're gonna pass. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. TCG Live not letting me get that bloody um, thingy ball. Oh, they've got Ultra now. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we've got Dark Rain now, so all we need is, like, a fighting energy. Then we can... Oh, yeah, these... It's not like Gengar. They're not weak to... They're not weak to fighting. They're weak to grass, bro. Ugh. Just... Aura burn. Get me out of here, bro. Thank God. All right, so both of crimes are gone. So we're gonna have to find up, find uh, something else to attack these people with. I would have loved you like two turns ago. All right, Chorus, we're gonna see. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get fighting energy. I have not flash selecting, so we're gonna do that. We need a water energy. We're gonna poke a stop. Pr just pray that we get something. Nest ball. Oh, we got rid of 
Aluminium and our beach court. Alright, we're getting rid of your poker stop as well. Alright, yeah, we're gonna take that. And we're gonna loss on it. Oh, we can Mirage Gate. I didn't even know that we could. Oh, we've got seven cards. Damn. Okay, we're gonna Mirage Gate. Didn't know we had reached seven cards already. Alright, so we're going to get that and that. Already down to 19 cards? Jesus Christ. Alright, we're going to get you. We're going to nest ball. How many energy in this card? How many energy in Lost Zone? One? Where's all our energy? It's just gone. Literally just gone. Jesus Christ. Right here. Raihan and Nest Ball. Yay. Oh my god. Please don't have like V-Star. Please don't have V-Star. Oh, thank god we didn't bench anything else. Because that Avery would have kind of screwed us over. Oh, we've won this game. We've won this game. Thank God they have nothing. Or they just don't know how to play. Alright, goodbye. That's Dark right gone. Woo! Okay. You know what, after that game, we're just... Ugh. Pardon me. We're going to end it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't know what we're going to look at next week, actually. I've got a crap ton of decks here. I think we might look at, like... Mm, maybe... Where is it? Um... Probably blind. Here we are. We're probably going to look at Giratina Vista or something like that. I don't know. It'll, it'll be a surprise. Uh, might be Giratina. Who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're in the Christchurch local area, there are th uh, three shops you can look at, which are TCG Collector in Sydney, Game Corner in Rickerton Church Corner, as well as Card Merchant in uh, near Addington Mall. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.